Hey guys, I am just on my way back from spending Father's Day with my dad, which is lovely. And um, I want to talk a little bit about something that I was taught at home that I really, really am grateful for and that I think every, every parent should be teaching their children and that's work ethic. Work ethic is something that will stand you, your children in very good stead. Um, and I think there's various ways that you can teach a child work ethic. And I'm just gonna talk about some of the ways that my parents did and some other ways that I teach um, the kids that I work with. So work ethic is very closely tied to service, to learning to serve and enjoy serving. I think what a lot of people don't realize is how much satisfaction and joy and fulfillment you can get out of serving other people. And the best way to learn that is to experience it. So one thing that my mom did growing up is that she was always wanting to help people, always wanting to reach out, you know, make food for people, go and sing for people who were sick or were dying. Uh, she always wanted to get involved and help other people. And she took us kids along with that. And so we learned to, we learned the satisfaction that comes along with that. We learned to enjoy it. And that's something that has stayed, stayed with me throughout my life because I learned the fulfillment and the satisfaction that comes from serving others. The other thing was that I came from a family of six kids, six kids in eight years, right? So we we had to work in the home. It was never a question of, you know, oh, is this my job or your job? Everybody had to help. That's just the way it was. And I think that that should always be the case in every home. A child should never become accustomed to their parent doing all the work for them. They should never, be, it should never be a home where the child doesn't realize what their parent is doing because they never have to help with it. So when your child helps you, they, they start to realize and appreciate the work that you're doing for them. And it might not, you know, come right away, but with time it'll come. For example, if your child has to bring their plate from, from the table to the sink, it reminds them that you're washing the dishes, right? Um, if, you know, if your child has to help fold the laundry, it reminds them that you wash the laundry and you dry the laundry, right? So the child, if, if they don't ever help, they're never going to learn to be appreciative. They're never going to have that gratitude. And that's what serving does. That's what, that's what helping work does. It teaches them gratitude. It teaches them to appreciate. And it also helps them understand and learn the satisfaction of doing a good job. And as adults, work ethic is also related to whether or not we believe that we're working for God, right? I think sometimes we, we see our job as just a job. We see, you know, what we do at home as just, you know, something necessary that has to be done. We have to cook supper. It's just, it's, it's what it is. But the Bible very clearly teaches, very clearly teaches that whatever your hand finds to do, do it as unto the Lord. The truth is, is not just do it as unto the Lord. You are doing it for the Lord. Everything you do can be done for the kingdom of God. And you can ask God, a great way to do this is to ask God to bless the work of your hands, no matter what you're doing. Ask him beginning of the day, throughout the day, ask him to bless what you're doing. Whether you're working on a school assignment, whether you're working at your job, whether you're working at home, ask God to bless what you're doing and use it to further his kingdom. You might, you might not realize how it impacts his kingdom, but the more that you pray this way and the more that you think this way, the more that you'll start to realize how you're impacting God's kingdom by what you're doing you'll start to realize that the work that you're doing does matter, no matter what it is, no matter who you're working for, where you are, it can impact God's kingdom in some way, shape or form. And that also helps us with our work ethic because it makes our, what we're doing, it makes us feel more fulfilled and more satisfied in what we're doing. Not only because we, we realize that it has a purpose, but also because 
when you're doing a good job, you feel better about yourself. You know, it, it affects your self-worth, it affects your satisfaction, your fulfillment with what you're doing if you're doing a good job. So those are just some some parts of work, work ethic that I think are important and for us to realize within ourselves and also for us to teach our children and those under our care Work is not something to dread. Work is not something to hate. It's something to enjoy and to feel, to get satisfaction and fulfillment from no matter what it is. You don't have to have your dream job in order for you to be happy doing it. Um, although who you're working with definitely um, does impact <laughs> how happy you are sometimes. But um, you can still have a good work ethic. It's so important. It's something that will really set you and your child apart in this world today. Um, don't let your children be sitting on the couch watching TV and iPad all the time. Don't expect that just because they're kids they don't need a help. Um, you know, make sure that they know that this is a home where, you know, everybody helps clean up, you know, their mess. Everybody, everybody helps with, with the chores. It's not just the adult's job, right? You know, let them understand that you're working to provide for them and that you're doing it because you love them, right? It's not just a chore for you. It's something that you you do because you love them and you want to serve them teach them that because they learn from you they learn from your actions and from your words and what you're doing and how you're serving them you know if, if, if you're just working to pay the bills and and you know because because it's just a chore they're gonna they're gonna feel the same way when they have their chores right it's just a chore it's not something they do because they want to help you um, so when when your children do want to help when they do have that that desire to be involved and to and to be generous and to serve do not kill it like make sure that you give them the room and the space to express that to 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 serve and to be generous and to be grateful um, and make sure that you're teaching your children that when you do things for them they do need to express appreciation when they do stuff for you you need to express appreciation for what they've done for you as well because that's part of the joy of serving is, is having people actually appreciate it, appreciate what you do, right? That's a huge part of the satisfaction, knowing that you have actually made somebody's day better. You have actually helped somebody. And if they don't, they don't tell you, sometimes you don't know, right? So it is important to express that. And um, yeah, that's just, I don't wanna go on for too long because I am driving, but that's a few things. I would love to hear what you guys think, what are ways that you've raised your kids or what, what are some of the ways that you were raised that that benefited you when it comes to work ethic and and serving and enjoying those things. Yeah, let me know. 